We're going to go over how to add documents to compliance in command so that the market center can check your documents, audit your files, and make sure all required forms and signatures have been added for each transaction that you have. And that is all done inside of opportunities. So we're going to go to the handshake icon right here, which is opportunities. And this will show you all of your listings, buyers, and uh, leases, any opportunities that you currently have going. I'm going to show you today a listing opportunity that I have an active listing for. So I'll select that and then I'm going to select the actual opportunity and click into that. Then we will be going into documents, which is where you will have access to DocuSign as well as pulling in documents to command so that the office can audit your files. There are checklists here on the left hand side for listed under contract closed, different forms required at different uh, stages of a listing. And then over here you'll see what those required forms are. There are a couple different ways to add documents to command, so I'm going to show you a few of those today. The first way is hitting add file. When you click add file, you'll get this pop up and there, it shows you the different ways that you can add files. Because I have a DocuSign room for this listing, I'm going to say I want to add this document from DocuSign. If you saw before, I was in the exclusive right to sell, so I'm going to scroll to that. Exclusive right to sell agreement signed, and I'm going to select that and assign it. This then will auto close. It says your document was successfully assigned and it shows that PDF right here. You can also click on that link and it brings up your signed document. You can double check, you'll see the DocuSign signature and you can exit out at any time. You can also say I want to attach multiple files. So if you have three or four in your DocuSign room and you want to do them at once, you can hit attach. And say DocuSign up here again. And then it will allow you to add any of these at once and attach only one time. So for the consumer guide, you can scroll to that consumer guide to agency seller signed. I don't have these two in my DocuSign because I left those with my client potentially and they emailed them back to me. So I will show you that separately. The affiliated business arrangement right here, affiliate business arrangement signed, America's preferred home warranty waiver. And as you see, you can, here we go. Well, that was the data collection. You want the packet. And then you can attach multiple at once. So you're not hitting add file each time. Now, for residential property disclosures, those got emailed to me as a PDF. So they're not in DocuSign. They're blank in there because you, you prepared them and took them with you on the listing appointment. So what you'll do is you'll hit add file and these are were downloaded to my computer from my email when the client sent them back. So I'm going to hit browse. That's a link to open up to your computer. I'm going to go to my documents. Oh, here it is in my downloads. Residential disclosure form. Open that up and assign. And that goes right there as well. So anytime that you have something that's not in DocuSign, it was in a email to you as a PDF or you scanned it to yourself. You don't have to put it in DocuSign first to put it in command. It will, can all live here. And that actually saves you a step. Um, previously, you had to add everything um, from your email or your computer into DotLoop for us to see it. And you do not have to do that with DocuSign. You'll just add it right into your opportunities documents folder. I'm going to do the same thing with the lead base paint. I'm going to browse my files. Lead based paint disclosure and assign. And those were just on my downloads on my computer. Now, if there's something else that you want to keep organized and in your documents in command, you can always add an item if it's not on our list. So I have a listing uh, addendum that went with my listing. And so I'm going to call that what it is and say that it was an addendum. And I also got this sent back to me, so I'm going to browse my files. There it is, the listing agreement addendum opened, and I will save it. And then that will also save 
here. So even if we did not put that on our checklist, you can keep it in your documents for your own organization. So that showed you two ways. You can add a file through DocuSign directly by selecting something that you already had signed by your client in the room, or you can manually add a file from your computer. Once you have everything ready, you will hit Submit to MC right here. Are you sure you want to submit for review? You will, you know, as long as you have everything, you'll say submit, and it lets you know that the submission was successful. See here, your status is submitted. We will change this on our end once we have received and reviewed your compliance request. So we will either return it to you or accept it on our end that everything has been completed. It will also show you here that seven of eight documents were uploaded, um, noting that one did not have a file. You'll also see that that one was not required, so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, that will status will change on your end once we change it on ours.